Jamaica's bauxite and alumina plant just got sold for one US dollar. Yep, not a million or a billion, one dege dege dollar. I'm Khalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. Let me explain. Jamalco is a bauxite mining and alumina production plant in Clarendon. It's owned jointly by the government of Jamaica through a company called Clarendon Alumina Production, CAP, and the Noble Group. So the government owns 45% and Noble owns 55%, or should I say owned 55% because they just sold their stake to an American company called Century Aluminum Company. Now, according to a report from the Gleena newspaper, Century only paid one US dollar for the plant. The Gleena article cited a filing from Century but said that no explanation was given for the price. However, the article speculates that the one dollar price tag indicates that Century will absorb Jamalco's liabilities. So let's break down some things. See, the Noble Group, which is the one that owned 55% of Jamalco, has had some issues of its own. They bought their stake in the plant from another company in 2014. Afterwards, Noble went through a series of court-mandated restructurings that ended it with it splitting into two main entities. Noble Group Holdings was the half that included Jamalco, and that has always been operating in the red, meaning it was losing more money than it made every single year. Then on top of that, Half of the Jamalco plant was destroyed by fire in 2021, so production halted for another 12 months. And even though the plant was closed and not generating money, money was still being spent on assessments, repairs, and other things. So their pockets were bleeding, and they basically decided to just call it a loss and sell their state. So the deal between Noble and Sentry was supposed to be completed by the end of April, it's May now, so it should be a done deal by now. Like I said before, Century Aluminum Company is a US-based company that has actually operated in Jamaica before. They used to own the St. Anne Bauxite Company, but left over a decade ago. The company is big in the smelting business, that's extracting metals from ore. So having access to Jamalco, which mines bauxite and refines alumina, is great for their business. And just to be clear, the government still owns 45% of Jamalco. So what do you guys think about this news? Bauxite mining still plays an important role in Jamaica's economy. Do you think this sale is good news? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments. You can click the link in my bio and choose newsletter to get money news like this straight to your inbox. Let's get this money.